Messi's tribute to a legend, a trans icon that returns to TV and the right to Selena's life story. It's all right here in the update. My name is Anna Karen, and hopefully by now you've recovered from your Thanksgiving food coma, survived Black Friday, and are hungry for more cotton from Latinx creators, that's us. After all, who doesn't like leftovers? Our first course, however, is a little bittersweet as the sports world lost World Cup champion and one of the greatest players ever in Diego Maradona to a heart attack. Fans from all over the world paid their respects, including none other than fellow Argentine superstar Leo Messi. In Barcelona's 4-0 victory over Osasuna, Messi honored Maradona after scoring a ridiculous left footer by revealing the legend's original jersey with mules in Argentina. The two players go way back as Messi met Diego when he was just six years old and played under him when Diego coached Argentina's national team. We're sure if Maradona were here to see it, he would celebrate with the best of them. We are celebrating another trailblazer with the release of HBO Max's new series, Veneno. Veneno follows the life of Spanish trans icon, Cristina Ortiz Rodriguez, who took on the persona of La Veneno and became a beacon of trans visibility on shows like Esta Noche Cruzamos El Mississippi. The new show is already a hit and even got the vice president tweeting about it. And no, we're not talking about Mike Pence, boy is out. Pablo Iglesias, third in line for the presidency, tweeted, it makes you cry, laugh, remember, empathize but above all, it makes you understand the brutal pain that has been and continues to be inflicted on trans people simply for being themselves. We at LA TV love all of our trans folks and that spice y'all bring, just like La Veneno. Okay, y'all, if you've been keeping up with us, you know that we're all impatiently waiting for Selena the series to save us. We expect it to be a tidal wave of nostalgia that's going to wash away all the negativity, and it's a rare chance to feel what it's like maybe to um, be happy. I don't know. Okay, anyways. Well, a recent lawsuit from one of the show's producers is now getting in the way of my dreams. The producer claims they signed a contract agreeing to give him the rights to the life stories of the Tahana singer back in 1995. But an LA Times interview says it was an informal agreement that the Quintanilla family would have final approval of the script while the producer managed the production side. Yada, 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 yada. Look, Dios mio, whatever legal jargon y'all gotta sort out, go right ahead and sort it out to the side and let us have this. How the us already bought the MAC makeup bags and the mom jeans online, the tags are non-refundable, and you know what? We'll also be charging for our emotional investment. So check it. If you're looking for stories written by your homies, head over to LATV.com where you can find these stories and more. Not to mention all of our latest episodes and interviews with the Latino voices who are redefining culture. Seriously, we covered the Latin Grammys and I did like 50 of those interviews, which are all there. So go check me out. Go check the website out. My name's AK. We'll see you in the next one.